That's it. What do you think, Dr. Rob? It's wonderful, Dr. Ali. It looks just like snakeskin. I cannot believe it's just paint. It's the magic of our special effects. They know how to reproduce materials, colours, natural surfaces, from ice to silk. Now we will explain how. Every special effect can be achieved using the most common wood, as well as substrates, such as MDF or isolated papers. The substrate must be carefully prepared by sanding with 150 grit paper. Sanding residues must be removed with compressed air. And then proceed by applying the coating materials. After mixing them with hardeners, catalysts or thinners, we recommend that you shake the sealers and top coats thoroughly. Drying should be done at room temperature. Let's start with snakeskin effect and crackle. To get a snakeskin effect, you need a nitro sealer in the chosen colour, a nitro thinner, a solvent-based patina in the chosen colour, acrylic top coat, hardener for acrylics and thinner for polyurethane. For a crackle effect, a nitro sealer in the chosen colour, a nitro thinner, a solvent-based patina in the chosen colour and a nitro top coat. Let's move on to the application. To achieve the Sydney effect, snakeskin, you must mix the nitro sealer with the thinner at 100 to 40 ratio. Apply the sealer, thus prepared, in quantities of about 150 grams per square meter and let it dry for four hours. Then apply the patina in two coats of paint with a maximum thickness of about 100 grams per square meter total. Leave it to dry for eight hours and then apply the silk top coat mixed with the hardener and thinner at 100 to 30 to 30 ratio. The application should be uniform and the thickness should be about 100 grams per meter squared. Complete drying occurs after 24 hours. And this is the final effect. For Istanbul crackle effect, mix the sealer with the thinner at a 100 to 40 ratio. Proceed with the application of the sealer in the amount of approximately 150 grams per meter squared. After four hours, apply a solvent-based patina in two steps at a maximum thickness of about 100 grams per square meter total. Then leave to dry for eight hours during this time, the patina will develop cracks that characterize the Istanbul effect. Next, you would apply the nitro top coat, diluted with thinner, at a 100 to 30 ratio. The application should be uniform and with a thickness of about 100 grams per meter squared. In this case, the complete drying takes place in eight hours. Look at how the effect is developing. Let's move on to the Barcelona effect, which recreates a mosaic look, and the Helsinki effect, cracked ice. To get both effects, we need a waterborne sealer in the chosen colour, a solvent-based patina in the chosen colour, a glossy acrylic top coat, acrylic top coat, hardener, and thinner. The application is rather different. To realize the Barcelona mosaic effect, the water-based sealer should be applied in quantities of about 150 grams per meter squared. Wait for four hours and then apply the patina with solvent. The patina should be applied in maximum two coats of paint with a thickness of about 100 grams per square meter total. Leave it to dry for eight hours. At this stage, the patina will develop a mosaic effect, breaking on a regular basis in small cracks. Once the drying is complete, apply the acrylic top coat mixed with hardener and thinner at a 100 to 80 to 40 ratio. The application should be uniform and the thickness of about 100 grams per meter squared. Complete drying takes place in eight hours.
To obtain the Helsinki cracked ice effect, the waterborne sealer should be applied in quantities of about 150 grams per meter squared. Let it dry for 35 minutes before applying a maximum of two hands of patina, with a thickness of about 100 grams per meter squared total. Respect for overcoating times between the waterborne sealer and the patina is critical to obtain good results. It is necessary that the application of the patina occurs when the sealer is not completely reticulated, but only when in the dust off. Leave it to dry for eight hours. During this time, the patina will develop deep and wide cracks with large particles. Once perfectly dried, it can be overcoated with acrylic top coat mixed with hardener and thinner at a 100 to 80 to 40 ratio. The application should be uniform and the thickness of about 100 grams per meter squared. Complete drying takes place after eight hours. The Shanghai and Las Vegas effects respectively recreate the look of silk and a luminescent top coat. To achieve the Shanghai effect, we need a white polyurethane sealer, a polyurethane base coat in the chosen color, a hardener for polyurethane sealer, a thinner, a silk effect acrylic top coat, and a hardener for acrylic top coats. While for the Las Vegas effect, you will need a paint of the chosen color, an acrylic luminescent base coat, a hardener, a thinner, and an acrylic gloss series top coat. To achieve the Shanghai effect, you will need to mix the white sealer with hardener and thinner at a 100 to 40 to 30 ratio. Uniformly apply two coats of paint with a thickness of 130 grams per meter squared with a minimum of two and a maximum of four hours interval. Let dry for about 12 hours and then sand with 380 grit paper. Then apply the solvent-based sealer in the chosen color, mixed with hardener and thinner at a 100 to 50 to 30 ratio. The application should be uniform and the thickness of approximately 130 grams per meter squared. Leave it to dry for 12 hours and then sand with 320 grit paper. Finally, overcoat with the Silk Effect top coat, prepared by mixing the top coat with hardener and thinner at a 100 to 30 to 30 ratio. For a perfect result, you must strictly respect a top coat thickness of 100 grams per meter squared. Perfect drying is achieved after 24 hours. For the Las Vegas effect, dilute the chosen paint with thinner at a 100 to 600 ratio. Apply evenly on the substrate chosen at a thickness of about 30 grams per meter squared. Let it dry for one hour and apply the luminescent acrylic sealer mixed with hardener and thinner at a 100 to 10 to 30 ratio. The application can be uniform over the entire surface of the object or restricted to small areas depending on the results you want. Let it dry for two hours and apply the acrylic base coat mixed with hardener and thinner at a 100 to 10 to 30 ratio. Wait for two hours and still sand the entire surface with 320 grit paper. Then evenly apply the acrylic top coat mixed with hardener and thinner at a 100 to 10 to 30 ratio in a single coat of paint of about 100 grams per meter squared thickness. The complete drying is done in eight hours. <laughs> The Manhattan effect has two variants, full of light and color. The first one needs an acrylic sealer in the chosen color, an acrylic metallic top coat in the chosen grain size, fine medium or coarse, then hardener and thinner. For the effect, you will need a white polyurethane sealer, a hardener for polyurethane sealer, metallic color acrylic top coat in the chosen color, copper, light or gray aluminum, warm gold, hardener for acrylic top coat, and thinner. Let's start with the Manhattan light effect. 
Mix the acrylic sealer in the chosen color with hardener and thinner at a 100 to 10 to 30 ratio. Then evenly apply two coats of paint, 130 grams per meter squared thick, with an interval of at least two hours and up to four. Let it dry for about 12 hours, then sand with 320 grit paper. Mix the top coat with hardener and thinner at a 100 to 10 to 30 ratio. Apply evenly, if possible, in a 130 grams per meter squared thickness coat. Complete drying is reached in 12 hours. For the coloured variant of the Manhattan effect, mix the white sealer with the hardener and thinner at a 100 to 40 to 30 ratio. Apply two coats of paint evenly with a thickness of 130 grams per meter squared with a minimum of two and maximum of four hours interval. Let it dry for about 12 hours, then sand with 320 grit paper. Mix the metallized acrylic top coat with hardener and thinner at a 100 to 10 to 30 ratio. Apply the chosen top coat evenly with a thickness of about 130 grams per meter squared. In the event that you are looking for a more dusty effect, we recommend applying a second layer of top coat after three to five minutes. Complete drying is done in 12 hours. The Berlin, Dubai and Mumbai effects share many preparatory ingredients. For all three, you will need a white polyurethane sealer, two hardeners and a thinner. What changes is the top coat. For the Berlin effect, you will need an aluminium acrylic top coat. For the Dubai gold effect, you will need a golden acrylic top coat. And finally, for Mumbai silver effect, you will need a silver acrylic top coat. For all three effects, you should mix the white sealer with the hardener for polyurethane sealer and the thinner at about a 100 to 40 to 30 ratio. Apply two coats of paint evenly with a thickness of 130 grams per meter squared with a minimum of two and maximum of four hours interval. Let dry for about 12 hours, then sand with 320 grit paper. Wait for 12 hours before re-coating, which, depending on the effect, aluminium, acrylic top coat, golden acrylic top coat, or silver acrylic top coat. Always mix with hardener and thinner for acrylic top coat at a 100 to 10 to 40 ratio. The layer should be uniform and the thickness of about 100 grams per meter squared. Complete drying takes place after eight hours. Let's proceed with the Florence effect, marble. To achieve it, you will need a white polyurethane sealer, a hardener for polyurethane sealer, a thinner, the paint in the chosen color, a thinner, an acrylic top coat, a hardener for acrylic top coat, and a rag or a swab. Before the application, mix the white sealer with a polyurethane hardener and thinner at a 100 to 50 to 30 ratio. Evenly apply two coats of paint in a 130 grams per meter squared thickness with a minimum of two and maximum of four hours interval. Let dry for about 12 hours, then sand with 600 grit paper. Mix the paint with a thinner at a 10 to 300 ratio. Apply 10 to 20 grams per meter squared and thereupon proceed to sponge the surface with a swab or absorbing paper soaked in thinner this operation must be carried out unevenly, avoiding ragging, in order to get an inhomogeneous and non-repeating effect. Stop sponging as soon as the chosen effect is achieved. Wait for two hours before re-coating with glossy top coat mixed with hardener for acrylic top coat and thinner at a 100 to 80 to 40 ratio. 
the application should be uniform and the thickness of about 100 grams per meter squared. Complete drying takes place after eight hours. For the London Effect yarn, you will need white polyurethane sealer, hardener for polyurethane sealer, stringy sealer in the chosen colour, hardener for stringy sealer, gloss series, acrylic top coat, a hardener for gloss acrylic top coats and a thinner. For the application, mix the white sealer with a suitable hardener and a thinner at a 100 to 40 to 30 ratio. Evenly apply two coats of paint with a thickness of 130 grams per metre squared with a minimum of two and a maximum of four hours interval. Let it dry for about 12 hours, then sand with 320 grit paper. Mix the stringy sealer with a hardener at a 100 to 100 ratio. Apply by adjusting the maximum pressure at one bar. Since it is a yarn effect, we suggest to apply it horizontally and unevenly. Vertical applications are possible, but the impact drops will be more evident than the cobwebs. Wait for two hours before recoating with acrylic top coat mixed with special hardener and thinner at a 100 to 10 to 40 ratio. The application should be even and the thickness of about 100 grams per meter squared. Complete drying takes place after eight hours. Let's proceed with the Oslo effect, frost, which is obtained with white polyurethane sealer, hardener for polyurethane sealer, thinner, frost effect waterborne patina, golden, acrylic top coat and hardener for acrylic top coats. For the Oslo effect, mix a white sealer with hardener for polyurethane sealers and a thinner at a 100 to 40 to 30 ratio. Evenly apply two coats of paint with a thickness of 130 grams per meter squared with a minimum of two and a maximum of four hours interval. Let dry for about 12 hours, then sand with 320 grit paper. Carefully clean the surface of sanding dust with a damp cloth and proceed with the application of the waterborne frost effect patina. Apply about 50 grams per meter squared flat. Then, place the coated support on a flat surface, taking care to protect it from too strong air currents or direct sources of heat. A lower thickness reduces the texture and forced drying with strong ventilation or direct sources of heat can change the crystallization. Wait for 12 hours before recoating with golden acrylic top coat mixed with hardener and thinner for top coats at a 100 to 10 to 40 ratio. The application should be even and the thickness of about 100 grams per meter squared. Complete drying takes place after eight hours. Detroit effect can be obtained with black polyurethane sealer, a hardener for polyurethane sealers, a thinner, a glossy acrylic base coat, a hardener for acrylic base coats, chrome effect and glossy top coats. Mix the black sealer with specific hardener and thinner at a 100 to 40 to 30 ratio. Evenly apply two coats of paint with a thickness of 150 grams per meter squared within a minimum of two and maximum of four hours interval. Let dry for about 12 hours, then sand with 320 grit paper. Mix the glossy acrylic sealer with the hardener for acrylic sealers and the thinner at a 100 to 80 to 30 ratio and proceed with the application. The application should be even and the thickness of about 150 grams per meter squared. 
wait for 12 hours for drying and then, without sanding nor scratching the surface, apply the chrome effect. The recommended thickness is 30 grams per square meter in just one coat of paint. After six hours, you can overcoat with the specific glossy chrome effect top coat. Complete drying takes place after eight hours. Sanding or any scratches, accidental or intentional, of the glossy acrylic sealer before applying the chrome effect coating will produce a different effect from the chrome mirrored one. With the Detroit effect, we are done. It was the last one. Now it's up to you to experience our special effects. And if you have any doubts, visit our Malaysi Facebook page or visit www.malaysi.com. See you soon.